Hi, let's play some Starfield. Am I alive? Hello? Am I there? I am. I seem to be there. Audio check. Okay. I am heard. I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash jewelsmith if you want to watch me live uh not every day but most days between 4 and 7 p.m or thereabouts eastern standard time or eastern time or whatever it's called i don't know if we're in standard time right now or daylight savings i think we just went into daylight savings anyway it's 4 p.m where i am let's play some starfield it's been a few days <laughs> I've been real busy. Just a lot of stuff going on. I mean, that's that's the way of my life. Uh, YouTube and playing games and stuff is not my full-time thing. It's just a hobby. And I don't get a whole lot of time to do it. And when I am doing it, I try to record or stream for the channel. I've been working my way through a few other games. There was a, a new indie game called Cat and Onion that just came out today, Tuesday, March 12th. And I got an advanced copy of it from the developer. And I played that and I was doing a video of that for today's Try It Tuesday on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash jewelsmith. And then I was, I've also been trying to finish up a game called Cats Love Boxes, which is another indie game. It's a puzzle game. It's really cute, really fun, but boy, does it strain your brain. And I've had to rope my youngest daughter, Baby Jules, <laughs> Baby Jules Smith, into helping me with that. She's even better at it than I am. <laughs> She's amazing. So we've been working on that, and I've been putting out videos to help other people who are stuck on the puzzles. A lot of people are getting stuck and coming to me and saying, help help I'm stuck and they've been waiting for me to finish the game because there's a bunch of puzzles in the last section that everyone's stuck on so I was trying to finish that up I still got to edit that and get it on my channel <laughs> but yes I have gotten through all of the puzzles uh, baby Jules had to get through I think she had to do like two or three of them for me but we made it we made it anyway I have the 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 platinum, I guess you'd call it, or, you know, all the achievements for that game. Anyway, and I spent most of the day cleaning my house, and I had a bunch of things I had to do around the house, trying to take care of little bits and things here and there, you know, upkeep and whatnot. And you know how it goes every time, you know, one, one step forward, two steps back. <laughs> every time I think I have something dealt with, there's five more problems involved, so... Everything in life seems like a house of cards sometimes, I swear to God. Anyway, but I'm here. And I'm going to go to space and I'm going to relax for a little while. How's that sound? <laughs> I don't even remember what I was doing last time I played this game. What, what's going on? Oh, right. We got to go meet Hadrian. We did go meet Hadrian. We talked to her for a little bit. We found out she's a clone of some guy that got executed for war crimes I, I don't know it's all very odd I don't know why it matters that she's a clone of this person I don't know why I care I mean I'm sorry that he did war crimes but uh, anyway this game sometimes is just all over the place all right but I didn't finish talking to her because I wanted to go and get Amelia Earhart Amelia was with me when we first saw the terror morph now, look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I ran into a terror morph once before in a crystal cave on Paradiso, and I was with Ezekiel. And he and I handled that terror morph pretty easily. It wasn't too bad at all. But then when I went to do the Vanguard quest line, and I actually went out to Terracetti and met Hadrian and she was beset by this big terror morph thing it was practically impossible to kill it was crazy hard I had to turn on a bunch of turrets and the turrets were shooting the shit out of it and I was shooting the shit out of it and Amelia was shooting the shit out of it and it still took a while to kill this thing so 
I don't know why there's such a huge difference between that one and the one Ezekiel and I ran into. Maybe I just lucked out and the game took pity on me early on because I was a low level or something. Or because I hadn't done the Vanguard quest line yet. Or maybe that one that we ran into in Tau Seti was just super, super high, hard to kill for story reasons or something to make him super scary. <sighs> I don't know. But anyway... Amelia was the one who was with me, so I'm going to take Amelia with me to go and meet Hadrian. At least that's what I was going to do. Doesn't look like I have Amelia with me right now. Oh, there she is. Okay. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, let me see if there's anything I need to sell off of my ship. Sometimes there's a lot of junk on my ship. Nope. Okay, it looks like I've already sold off most of the junk. Alright. Well, come on, Amelia. Let's go talk to Hadrian in Mass District. I think we can get there faster if we fast travel, maybe. We're going to go in and talk to the cabinet members. Not sure what to expect with all that. But here we go. All right, let's Still go. Still no word from the cabinet. Anything you wanted to discuss in the interim? Uh, I guess we've already gone through all of this. It's all grayed out, so then let's I go. I guess it's just a matter of... The cabinet meeting is about to begin. All parties, please proceed to the cabinet chambers. Sounds like our cue. Here we go. I guess I should take off my spacesuit for now. There we go. We're just gonna go in and then talk to some cabinet members. I don't need to be all decked out for space. If shit goes south for some reason, I can put the suit back on. in here ah welcome you must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report you have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information Hadrian made it clear that addressing this issue required the utmost urgency just following orders no I, I wasn't though thanks Thanks, don't keep my ship fueled, ma'am. <laughs> I'll just say Hadrian said it was urgent. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. 
Hmm. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the Cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Uh, protecting everybody from terror morphs? We're still trying to figure out what we're facing. We can't make an informed decision without data. We need the archival data to find a way to stop a possible terror morph apocalypse. I'm just here to talk about what happened. Hadrian's the one with the grand plan. Remind me what's kept in these archives? Information about terror morphs. Um, we can't make an informed decision without data. I'll say that, I guess. Mm. That is something to consider. Though we also have to take into account the nature of the data you require. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, terror morph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic. And at worst, a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates. I would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to. If it's my father you're looking to address, you're welcome to consult a medium. I would also ask, how many deaths the cabinet requires to act? 50? 50,000? Because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And while there should be no doubt, the preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief Yassine has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, did this terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Well, yeah. I mean, it murdered an entire colony. <laughs> right. It wiped out a colony that never saw it coming. That's pretty alarming. I only know that its tissue matched the ones from Londinium. No, ma'am, nothing special to report. I, yeah, I'd say it's pretty alarming that it wiped out a colony. That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? Heck yeah, I would. If there's a chance that what happened on Tau Ceti would happen elsewhere, we need to grant the request. Yes, if the fear is the data being weaponized, the Terramorph program failed, the data is not dangerous. That would be worth saying. Personally, I'd wait. We don't have enough information. If it were up to me, I wouldn't grant the request. The archives are sealed for a reason. Um, I'll say that uh, the program failed, so the data is not dangerous. That? I hadn't thought of that, Captain. An excellent point indeed. The other powers would likely be much more inclined to work with us knowing that. Chief Diplomat. That? That point is a good one. Very well, you have my agreement. The galaxy is lucky you were here today, Captain. You and I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to- Holy shit, what was that? What was that? Oh, damn. So shit Incident. is escalating. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack. All right, hang on. What was I saying about putting on my outfit if shit went south? <laughs> I'm putting it back on. At the spaceport. Terramorphs. What? Terramorphs. More attacks. Here? Just as predicted. Good God. There, hey there, there must be another explanation. The, the creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. 
the last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. The nearest anti-Xeno squad, though, is off-world. It might take a while to bring them in. Well then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. You two, we can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming, and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. With you know, turrets? Sometimes I feel Good lord. What? Brett, we're, we gotta go down there? Why do we gotta go down there? Adrian is now following you. Holy crud. Take that to the spaceport. Okay. Can't go that way. Alright. Yeah, you're safe in here, guys. Just stay here. Good lord. Oh, jeez. What are we gonna see when we get outside? What weapon should I use? I don't want. You! The EM rifle, grab it! Now! Stop! We're trying to... Collect the EM weapon. Why? Oh. So you can Help you. disable Get people. Punching me. Dude, go down. Didn't even break us up. Should we go after them? What in the world? Dude. Please! Do something! I think some of them are dead. Incapacitate the attackers. Okay, well, aren't they incapacitated? Okay, I guess they're incapacitated now. Assess the situation. God, you got here when you did. I... I just wish it hadn't come to that. Yet Why are people attacking there, you? Captain? There's no excuse for using lethal force here. I'm sorry. I... You pronounced thanks for saving my life very strangely. I, I'm sorry. I messed up. Sorry doesn't bring these people back. A crisis isn't licensed to cast aside your morals. I wasn't Understand? trying to cast aside my morals. Now, the quest just wouldn't. Sh Officer, I didn't shoot. What? The way those people were acting, I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorphs' influence, weren't they? Terramorphs' influence? I, the fuck? I don't know. They were down at the port, and they just started screaming. We tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but but some of the other officers down there. We couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Fermonic projection. What? Some terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control, turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the oh. morph, you break the hold. Like my but this means we're going to need to be real careful with our fire. Implant? And keep that EM weapon at the ready. Yeah, well, I was using the EM weapon, and it wasn't advancing the quest. 
If someone comes at me, I'm putting them down. Are you suggesting Terramorphs can control someone's mind? I'm not suggesting. It's documented behavior. It's the first the I've heard of, of it. projection, though, can vary wildly. Some folks just shrug it off. Others hallucinate. And some lose control altogether. They'll lash out at anyone around them. But still, be aware while they're doing it. Those cases, you'll either need to knock them out with EM fire, or free them by killing the Terramorph. So does this mean I need to worry about you turning I on me? I honestly was just wondering the same thing. But no, you don't need to worry about me. I've had a Terramorph try it on me before. I'm not susceptible. So we'll just have to make sure to watch out for each other down there. Okay, well, if someone comes at me, well, I'm putting them down. Well, you better keep that EM weapon loaded then. Now let's move. That's that EM weapon didn't seem to help much. Please, do what you can to help them. So well, all these fools are dead? Well, no, they're, I don't think he's dead. I think he's dead. They're not dead. And they're not dead. Alright, so I accidentally killed one of them by whacking him in the head, but that's what made the quest progress, so... Alright. This is bullshit, though. Mind control. Now they're just gonna throw that in there? I mean, I can do it because I have the implant, but suddenly now the Terramorphs can do it? Some of the Terramorphs. Okay. Hold on. God, no time to waste, Captain. Stash the EM and pull some firepower. Let's move. Oh, now I'm supposed to stash the EM? Jesus, make up your goddamn mind. Recognize this. Oh there. shit. It's never going to work. Alright, I actually used one of my powers. I think that's the first time I ever used a power on an enemy. Huh. Okay. Now maybe we have a reason to actually have these fucking powers. Wait. Officer, the game is only now giving me a reason. Uh, experts, take whatever we can get right now. We've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad, but we're barely holding our perimeter. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I, I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We. We'll hold them as best we can. Okay. Well, dude, I should have some kind of... <sighs> because I have the Ryujin implant, and they said the implant protects me from mind control, I would think I would have some protection from these Terramorphs, too. I mean, if I had completed that quest line, it should make this one a little bit different, but maybe the two quest lines don't, don't actually mesh or affect each other. But, alright, whatever. Um, 
Do I have a better weapon to use against this thing? I mean, the Ultra Mag's got some decent damage, but... This one fires more shots. Bigger clip, higher rate of fire, I don't know. Alright, so what do we need to do? Heard you might be looking for some backup. You say the word, we're out there on your six. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here, but we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. Okay. Are you sure you're not going to turn on We're us out afraid, there? But we'll stay here and hold the line if that's what you want. You're the experts. Yeah, stay here and hold the Your line. Call. We're on the line. I don't want you turning on me and I gotta shoot you. That would make me feel real bad, sir. There's my ship. Can't I just get in my ship and start firing with the big guns? around. Looks like a real arena here. What's it doing? Just sitting there? It's just sitting there. Level 38. But it dropped. Alright, now what? We gotta kill another one? Yeah, eliminate the Terramorphs, okay. Why are they sleeping?
doesn't like fire, does it? Incendiary laser took care of it pretty good. All right. See, they have like a protective wall that can come down. I had no idea. Cool. Oh, it's Sergeant Yumi. Oh, I had to do quests for him earlier in the game. I was calling him Sergeant Yummy. <laughs> Guess they weren't kidding about you, too. The universe put the right people in the right place. Yeah, you held the line. You're the heroes here, not us. All in a day's work. Just remember I saved your tails. Um, all in a day's My work, Sergeant. Is, I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Well, three. Just There's three of us. To the occasion. Captain, Amelia we should helped. report back to the President. Let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Okay. Gonna be any more here in the town? Wow, this whole place is on lockdown. Look at this. Attention. That's crazy. Nope, I guess they cleared out all the people. That's a relief to hear. Thank you, gentlemen. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Yes, ma'am. Ah, there, Captain. Hadrian, it would appear that the cabinet owes Amelia. you thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the Terramorphs will consider them validated. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I'll take my gratitude in credits, real estate, or luxury goods. <laughs> Better late than never, I suppose, is what I'm going to say. No, you two were in the right. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the Cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the Archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish the heat those leeches. goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. Or maybe as Ryujin. Such, the cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former rank of major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Uh, yes Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, 
we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and House Varun to play ball. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies and all the galaxy are facing right now. The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Of course it does, because I'm the protagonist. Well, I can probably get Free Star Collective to agree because I'm a Free Star Ranger who's done a whole lot of stuff for the Free Star Republic. But I don't know if that's going to count for anything in this quest line or if it's going to be something completely separate. Uh, if you're sure that's the wisest course of action, I can't be your representative. I'm just some vanguard. Nobody tell me what I'm getting and I'll consider it me. Why not send a, send a diplomat? Yeah, the cabinet wants progress and wants it quickly. You're already far more familiar with the situation than any diplomat would be. There's also Plus, no I'm a free star ranger that can claim they helped keep a cadre of terramorphs off the embassy doorsteps. Cadre? The cabinet cadre? was unanimous. They want you. Okay. All right. Well, we do. Sure. In exchange, we're willing to fast track your citizenship upon collection of the data. Don't really care, so, but okay. Will you help us? Um, sure. What do I get for being a UC citizen? I'm already a Free Star Republic citizen and ranger. It has its perks. Only citizens can purchase property in the city. We also pay reduced prices on most goods and services across the UC. There's also a credit disbursement when you first join. Help get you on your feet. But above all, I'm on my feet you and then become a dedicated part of the greatest faction in the galaxy. If I'm already part of Sistef. We can open that door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, I'll do it. Because I want to do the quest line, but I don't care now, about being a citizen. We, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper support. Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. Okay. You should be able to find her in our office the across the hall. Oh. And her. on behalf no. of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. Damage to the spaceport. I really the costs wish. Of this attack are greater than I think we realize. I'm gonna go check in with Chief Engineer Kulkarni. Start getting okay. a plan together for that data. Okay. All right. Bye. Um. Yeah, I was gonna say I I wish that I could have more dialogue options unlocked by having done other quests. Like I've done Reugen, so I have the mind control implant. Uh, and also, I found some Ryujin scientists on uh, Kumasi, I think it was, when I was doing a survey. And they had an alien egg, which, you know, I wish I could say, hey, maybe Ryujin's got some terramorph eggs and maybe they're involved. Um, also, you know, I'm a free star ranger and I've completed that whole quest line. So, like, I should be able to say, hey, I'm a free star ranger. And I uh, chose the background of being uh, a citizen of the Free Star Collective. So, like, I hate how I chose that background, but nobody ever brings it up. I've had a few conversation options with other Free Star Republic people because of my background. But, like, when Sistef picked me up, for instance, and they didn't even mention, they said, we know everything about you. And they didn't even mention that I was a Free Star Ranger or anything. It's... It's weird how, like, every one of these quest lines is almost, like, completely isolated from the others, even though, like, really there should be lots of overlap, but... Alright, anyway. Hey, Ronin, I see you in the chat room. How you doing today? Hello, hello. <laughs> We're doing the Vanguard quest line and all hell just broke loose. Alright, we gotta go speak to Deputy McIntyre. So I guess we'll get on with getting on. Let's do it. I, I want to favorite this weapon though, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Hang on. Um, I really like this Equinox, so I need to favorite it and... Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Modified EM Equinox. Oh, that's what they had me pick up so I could shoot people that were under the mind control. Alright, I guess I got to keep this one handy as well. And I'm um, just about all out of <laughs> slots here. We'll put that one there. And hang on. 
What are in all my favorite slots? What's this up here? Oh, Reconstim. That's for if you want to tippy toe quietly. Med pack, genetic material, trauma pack. Okay. All right, well, I don't use Reconstim very often, so let's... Let's put this one up there. Sure, why not? All right. Oh, Ronan says I am good. All right. Have you played any more Starfield? I think the last I heard you were going to go back to it. You had tried it out and couldn't really get into it. And then I guess you'd watch me play for a little while <laughs> or maybe watch some other people or something. Have you gone back to it? By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Oh, okay. Yeah, like uh, take care of Terramorphs. Addy? Hi. Chief Yassin, these orders... A Vanguard captain. You... Yes, sir. I'll make sure they get what they require. Nova Galactic Manual 03. Permanently reduces fuel needed for a grab jump. Alright, I'll take it. Hello? That must make you my Vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassin's second-in-command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassin wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor, accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the tools you need. And that means first getting you into the Archives. You do know what the Archives are, correct? Uh, Freestar Collective Settler. Oh, well, I was just saying, I hardly ever get to use that background. It's where the UC keeps all their secrets on how to kill Freestar citizens. Repositories for all the banned data from the Colony War. Let's pretend I don't have the slightest idea. Uh, I'll use my Freestar Collective background because I can. Last I checked, it takes two parties to fight a war. But, since you're such an expert, I'm sure you also know it's supposed to be managed by the three major galactic players. Access to the archives is only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board. So that means we'll need to convince two people, the ambassadors of the Freestar Collective and House Varun, to hand over their codes. Get them both and you'll have your data. But that's a lot easier said than done. Okay, you'd think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack. No problem, I'm just going to need some electrodes, a tooth extractor, some sodium pentanol. Uh, it doesn't sound easy. What can you tell me about these codes? Can we forge them? No. Each is a strip of several million random numbers generated on the fly based on biometric keys kept by each of the ambassadors on their person at all times. They're impossible to create without those keys, and those keys stay with the ambassadors, meaning we're accessing nothing if we can't get them on our side. Okay. Uh, you think they'd be clamoring to help after the spaceport attack? I couldn't agree more. However, both ambassadors have reasons they won't, or can't, work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And All I right. do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Oh, you know, fun. That doesn't mean we can't get creative. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Ooh, I get to find out more about House Varun. Uh, well, let's go ahead and start with the Freestar Collective because that's where I'm from. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran, 
of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. How about no my notes. experience as a member Maybe of the work. Free Star Republic Stranger and being a ranger? But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools to get her code. Okay. Tell me about the other tools then. Certainly. See, good diplomacy is all about the careful application of pressure. We just need to find the squeeze. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the Ambassador's living quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, you're going to need to find a way in there without being seen. Now, we recovered some Why don't you guys just have it hooked up so that you can that. listen in? But there's also a disgruntled staff member you might be able to pump for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. All right, any other things I should avoid doing inside the embassy? Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. Okay, what can you tell me about the staff Name's member? Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe, bears less of a grudge towards the UC. He works closely with the ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of embassy life. And someone who very likely hates her guts. Okay. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up. You're on your way. Not likely to let you through the door otherwise. And take these. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Credits and FC Embassy Security added. Okay. Um, tell me about Ambassador Balmore of House Varun. Ambassador Balmore's a challenge. I figured. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. Um... Why? What's wrong with House Varun? Well, these days, they're primarily considered a security threat. House Varun Zealots, a fundamentalist outshoot of the group that stayed behind when the rest retreated into seclusion, want nothing more than to send everyone not dedicated to their cause to the Great Serpent in the Sky. But that hasn't always been the case. After they ended the Serpent's Crusade about 70 years back, House Varun did take a real run at trying to normalize relations with the rest of the galaxy. It's why they have an embassy here in the first place. Why they were included in the armistice negotiations. But then, without warning, they left. Leaving behind, to our knowledge, just the ambassador and his duty under the armistice. Okay. I'm sure you can be reasoned with House Varuner people, just like us. Of course. But there is another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. Like his oh. public appearances were always rare. But it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Uh -oh. Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Okay. Uh, what kind of life signs did you detect in the embassy? The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the embassy. It seems those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify what's flora and what's ambassador. That seems weird but okay so no one's actually been inside the embassy the embassy is still legally house varun sovereign territory so we're not technically permitted inside we've snuck in the occasional spy of course 
but the ambassador has proven more evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. Hmm. In what way? What do I do if he's dead? Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. All right, here's hoping we're not chasing it a corpse. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. But I, of Could, course, yeah. hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here. This device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Great. Now, okay. if you have additional questions or require clearance for a new approach we haven't already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still fresh in her and her staff's mind. Be okay. smart out there, Captain. Okay. Wow. All right. Ooh, this is a lot. So what did she give me exactly? Embassy security. The utility section access door in the conference room is found unlocked again. This cannot be happening. Leaving that door unlocked poses a direct risk to the ambassador's privacy and security. We all need to get into the habit of ensuring it's locked before and after each shift. Lock the damn access door. Okay. Free star diplomatic access card. Baroon embassy entrance override. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to ditch Amelia, send her back to the ship, and maybe go grab Ezekiel. Well, I don't know. I mean, Amelia's been with me through all of this so far. Think I, I don't know if it's worth going and getting Andresia if I'm going to be dealing with House Varun, you know? I don't know if having her with me would make a difference. Hey yo, hey Alpha Diggs, how you doing? Ah, Captain. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. Sure. Okay, so what have I got going on here? Sergeant Yumi wants to talk to me. Alright, let's go see what he wants first before we head off into all this other stuff. Oh, he's back at the spaceport, probably. Oh no, it says he's at the lodge. Alright, well let's go there. Alpha is asking, what level are you currently? I think I'm 37? Oh, 38. I just got, I just hit 38. I was fighting some terror morphs in the spaceport and I hit level 38. I got a whole bunch of skill points I haven't spent. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll keep a Amelia with me until it's time to go get Andresia. Well, now it's telling me to go over there. What the heck? Oh, 
Oh, deliver news about the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis. Okay, let's do that. Real quick. If you have a new story right. for me, and you talk and get paid, I spread the news. I was at the Terramorph it's attack on New Atlantis. Really? To say you have my undivided attention is an understatement. A lot of people were there. The accounts we've got were chaotic. What was yeah, your well, I'm the one that? that killed them. I took out those Terramorphs and saved the day. Together with UC security, we put those killing machines down. I'm in mean, the UC Vanguard and was investigating recent. I'll say I helped UC security. I mean, they were fighting them before I got there. Sounds like maybe you're being modest. Security isn't exactly trained for that scenario. But all right. The whole city they is would still be. on edge over the attack. We were fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. What was I it mean, like? Since in they the knew that things? they had attacked Londinium. Terrifying. It takes a lot of firepower. Uh, focus on protecting the civilians and staying alive. Uh, it was terrifying. I'll that say that. That makes what you did even more, well, amazing. It sounds like New Atlantis, heck, the whole UC, owes you a great debt. Any closing comments? I already have a good story here. I can't sleep at night because who knows when the Terramorphs will attack again. I won't rest until the Terramorph threat is ended. I have nothing else to say. I'll say I won't rest until the Terramorph threat that is ended. That makes me feel better. I feel like such a sap, but it does. Hey, Constellation, from all of us that live here, thanks. We use the word hero a lot in news. But you Why really are you thinking are Constellation? They haven't had fuck all to do with any of this. Uh, that's weird. All right. Um. All right. Where's Where's Sergeant Yumi? Is that him out there? Yeah. Okay. Nope, hang on, I got a message from my husband. I got a text. Alright, let's go see what Sergeant Yumi has to tell me. I don't know if it's another one of those little side quest things or if it's something related to the Terramorphs since he was out there helping me fight the Terramorphs. Any violations of the law may be met with fines, incarceration, and if Now, why wasn't this robot helping us with the Terramorph? Because the Terramorph shouldn't be able to control the robots, right? Just the humans. I want to see some robot on Terramorph action. Come on. Ah, crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. Okay. Has there been any fallout from the Terramorph attack? The whole department is in the process of recovering, myself included. If I'm being honest, I still have nightmares of my team turning on one another. Yeah, wounds that is can pretty be replaced creepy. And wounds can be healed, but building back that trust in each other is going to take time. Luckily, we've built a good culture here, and we hired some new recruits who were inspired by what you did. Well, that was fast. I've got faith we'll survive this. It just happened five minutes ago. <laughs> 
How are the day-to-day -day operations? Uh, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could well, your job be? Not now with the Terramorph attacks. Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. Hopefully the recent hires we've had will help solve that. Okay. I guess that's... See you later. All we had to talk about? Uh, dude, it says I'm supposed to talk to you. After that business with the Terramorph. It's good to get back to small crimes and petty thieves. The whole department, things can be replaced. Uh, Luckily. Uh, it's a lot of work. As well. Oh, great. Hopefully the recent hires we... See you later, Captain. Okay, so I guess there's nothing I can talk to him about. That's just glitched. Great. More glitched quests that I won't be able to finish. Good job, Bethesda. Alright, it's not even going to give me the option of going in to Varun yet. I've got to go to the Freestar Collective, so... Let's do that. Oh no, I've got to go to the Embassy here in New Atlantis. Okay. I won't have to go all the way out to the Cheyenne system. Got it. Well, hey, Amelia, I want to take Zeke with me because he's my fellow Free Star Collective citizen. Always good to see another badge. Hey, Zeke, we got to go talk to the ambassador. Hey Danny, how are things? Oh, I got got to drop off my uh, my junk. I'm carrying around a bunch of junk. Okay, hang on. Okay, what else am I carrying? I think I picked up a new weapon. This modified EM Equinox. Yeah, that's that's the new weight I have. Okay. Alright. Hey Zeke, where are ya? I'm thinking about moving the captain's quarters down here. I think it makes more sense to open this door and have it be the captain's quarters, but... I don't know. I'm still fiddling around with my ship. Trying to get it just the way I want it to be. Hey, Zeke. Where are you, man? Oh, there he is. What's going on? What's on your mind? Is there something I can help you with? You know me. I'm ready to work. Okay, I got Zeke with me now. Dude. I hope oh, you're having on. a good one. 
What do you need? Uh, I'm going to have you put on your ranger deputy uniform. He's not officially in the Free Star Rangers, but I like to think that I uh, got him signed up for the rangers as a deputy because he's always hanging out with me. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, dude. There you go. Thanks for the chat. Here for a chat. Yeah, all right. It's good on you. Yeah, looks good. All right. I oh, should put on it, my baby. ranger outfit as well. Do I have it with me? Yes, I left it back in the Free Star Republic. All right, well, no time to go grab it now. But I should have my badge with me. I always carry my badge with me. Not that it's going to matter. I seriously doubt there's going to be any chance of me saying that I'm a Free Star Ranger. There's just so very little crossover between these quest lines. Yeah, there's my ranger badge. Alright. Well, let's go get her done. It's faster to leave the ship this way. Brews headquartered here, aren't they? I could use a coffee. All right, well, let's go grab you one, babe. Let's go get him a coffee. Not like we don't have a ton of coffee on board the ship, but okay, maybe he likes a special coffee from Terra Brew. There's a terror brew right there. Let's go get Zika coffee. It seems like a small decision. But Hello and welcome to Terra Brew. How can I serve you? Tell me. All right, Zeke, what do you like? Classic. Cappuccino, latte, espresso, cordado, or macchiato. I'm not sure what a cordado or macchiato. I don't drink coffee. To be honest, I don't even know what any of these mean. What do you think Zeke would like? He doesn't seem like a cappuccino or a latte kind of guy. And classic, I mean, you know, you can have plain old straight coffee on board the ship. So maybe espresso, cordado. What's a cordado? He sounds like a Cordado guy to me, even though I don't even know what that is. The coffee is cut with milk. Equal parts espresso and steamed milk. Mm, maybe not. What's a macchiato? Uh, it's a espresso coffee with a small amount of milk, usually foamed. Yeah.
Espresso takes a small amount of nearly boiling water forced under pressure through finely ground coffee beans. Okay. What's the difference? Espresso is thicker and more intense than coffee. All right, let's get him an espresso. Have a terror brew day. Now, I am a manager. I should be Buddy, it's managing. coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, well, and let us get on with our lives. To make a premium yeah. Here you go. Yeah, sorry. Double dare Hello sure. again. I don't appreciate Need me to take something off your hands? No, I will not. Yeah, you can take this hot coffee. <laughs> Uh, it's not under E. No, probably under T for Terra Brew. There it is. You can have that. Make whatever it is you Bye, just Captain. Because this Okay. Is now I hope he's happy. I know there's a Terramorph threat, but it's very important that Zeke gets his coffee. <laughs> Come on, Zeke, we gotta go talk to the Free Star Collective diplomat here, ambassador here in New Atlantis, and we need to get their access to the super secret sealed archives. And I'm really hoping that I have some pull here because I'm a free star ranger, but it's probably not going to be that easy. I think that's the Varun embassy we need to get into. There's some kind of secret side door we're going to have to find. Like, like, when someone... Oh, this is the church. You, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, uh, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what they I all have thinking, names. But that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. Do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Except oh, Keeper Aquilus. He's the guy that wrote that book I found. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can just love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah. Why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. Well, it's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Huh. Yes, Andreas. Yes. Unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. Is there anything we yeah. can help with? Ezekiel claims to be a, a universal or whatever this place is. This is his religion, I think. I may not always have the perfect advice for people, but I try to just be here for them. I think that's what they really need more than anything else. Were you seeking worldly wisdom or... And they all the wear these world? shower caps. Uh, I'm not seeking anything. Meaning of life would be good for a start. No, I'm not Are seeking anything. Are you sure anything. about that? 
I think we're all looking for something, even if we're not aware of it. I could be wrong, of course, wouldn't be the first time, but if you find you're desiring something more, perhaps the church can be of service. You might give something of our writings a read. See what you think. I'd recommend starting with Among the Grab Jumps. I'm sure there's a copy lying about somewhere. And if you'd like, we could have a little chat afterwards. I'll certainly be here for it, or any other reason you might need me. Uh, I don't think I've had the pleasure. I'm sure I did at one point, but I'm drawing a blank. What? I don't know what these dialogue options are referring to. I'll just say I don't think I've had That's the pleasure. All right. I'm sure it just escaped your memory. So many things do over time. There must be a copy around here somewhere. If you do happen to peruse it, I would enjoy hearing your thoughts on the idea. The idea of what? Okay. Wonderful. Uh, I really would be happy to discuss it with you sometime. That was a weird conversation that didn't make any sense. Did I miss something? Uh, anyway, I was going to say, this is not my thing. I am uh, whatever the other religion is. Not a Varun, but... There's these universalists, or maybe I'm the universalist. I don't remember. Anyway, whatever this church is, they believe that they can find God in the universe. That that God's given us the ability to travel in space, and that's how we're supposed to go and find God. Uh, I'm of the other opinion, the other religion in this game that's uh, a humanist sort of organization. But anyway... But Zeke likes this this church here. That's why he joined up with me and flew off on my ship. Alright, Free, Free Star Collective Embassy. Okay. You are visitor? You'll find the ambassador in our office. Go on through. Okay. <laughs> Oh, little taste of home. Visitors Got an are ash to skull in here. Lobby, offices, or conference room. That means you. There we go. Warning, authorized personnel only. So if I go in there, they're going to get mad at me. Hi there. I swear I've seen your face before. You look exactly like the guy who was selling some weapons on the key, I think. Crimson Fleet. Oh, where'd he go? Blinked and he's gone. Crimson Fleet key. Oh, alright. So he wanders over there and then I can sneak in here. And she wanders in there and then that's when I can get in here. Okay, gotcha. But let's see if it comes to that. Okay, they've got a book in the lobby but you're not allowed to touch it. Okay. Just like they have coffee here in the lobby, but you can't touch that either, and you can't actually brew it with any other stuff in the game. I feel like that's a massive oversight. Terramorphs, as in more than one? All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. All right, let's do a hard save here. Before we head in. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed hello? to be in here? Yeah. Uh, hello, can I talk to you? Jesus, come on, game. I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? I do. I'm here today on behalf of the United Colonies, but I'm a member of the Collective just like you. Oh, yay! I get to actually say that. Finally. Or I can say Captain Nova UC Vanguard. I can say I'm here on behalf of the UC Colonies. United Colonies. Um, all right, I'll say I'm a Free Star Collective settler. Ah, so you're the one they called about. 
Failed to mention you were collective born. You yeah, they never mentioned that. For what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. We need access, you heard correctly. You need to help, otherwise any more deaths are on your hands. Nope, they sent me to beg. Please, please, pretty, pretty, please. Uh, nope, you need to help us, otherwise any more deaths are on your hands. Uh, that's, that's going hard on her there right up front. I'll say that she heard correctly. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. But the program was the unsuccessful. I responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? Persuade. Please, Ambassador, just listen to what I have to say. Yeah, I'll try persuasion. Are you really going to push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. Thank you, Ambassador. Just hear me I'm out. I'm listening. The collective's my home. I just want what's best for it, and that's working with the UC. Okay. Hey, don't let yourself be taken in by their propaganda. This is a power grab, nothing more. The Terramorph Xeno Weapons Project was a failure. That knowledge isn't dangerous. You know that for sure. That is interesting. Well, Captain, you, you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm going to need the following concessions. Your okay. access will be limited. You can only take out the items related to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. You go in That's once, fair. you get everything you need on your trip, and never again. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, the galaxy needs to be involved in the oversight. Fair Free enough. Star scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, yeah, do we have fair. an agreement? Agreed. That's way too much. I think you need to speak to Deputy McIntyre. No, I'd say that's pretty good. Excellent. Agreed. Follow me. Okay, where are we going? You're allowed three places. Conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. Well, what if I'm following her, though? I'm allowed to follow her, right? They tell me it should only take a moment. Ooh, what about the equipment? And there. Here, I'll reach out to Deputy Mac. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. Okay. People often mistake rivals for enemies. We don't have to like each other to do the right thing. That is true. I guess I could have snuck in and come in through here. But this was easier. What's back here? Oh, somebody's bedroom. Okay, okay, okay. Now we gotta go to House Varun. I think I'm gonna go grab Andresia for that, just in case it's helpful.
Hey, Klaus, how you doing? All right, let's go find the lodge. Hey, Zeke. <laughs> Boy, he sure looks at me with longing, don't he? Too bad I got a thing for that brig commander back on the UC Vigilance. Alright. Where is Andresia? Do you have a new set of orders for me today? The human soul? I must have missed it. But it's okay, Mateo. I'm reasonable. Last time that I went looking for her, she was on top of a building in town. I have no idea how she got there. Her bedroom's back here. But I don't know if that's where she'll be. Oh, she is. Hey, Andresia. Hey, buddy old, buddy old pal that I've ignored for <laughs> months in game time now. In the end, you chose the UC over the Crimson Fleet. Do Whoa, you, you going to talk to me about that? that? Was the right choice? Well, yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have done it. If I had to pick sides, I'll go with the bigger guns. I couldn't bring myself to side with pirates. Sysdef didn't really give me much of a choice, did they? There were moments where I had my doubts. Uh, there's no way for me to, like say wholeheartedly of course I would side with this stuff um there were moments where I had my doubts I guess but I couldn't bring myself to side with pirates I'll say I that I can respect that I am no supporter of the United Colonies but I yeah. also could not bring myself to side with the fleet and what they represent did getting that close to Delgado and the fleet make it difficult at all it can be harder to act against someone once you get to know them. Yeah, it was pretty sad shooting up some of those people. Riding in prison is what he deserves. I'm never happy to betray someone who's counting on me. I don't give a damn about any of them. You see, or pirates. Ooh. No, no, no. I'll say I'm never happy to betray someone who's counting no, on me. No, do I think you should be. But in this case, I believe you made the right call. They were pirates after all. It would be foolish to think, though, that we have seen the last of the Crimson Fleet. We may have eliminated the leadership, but there are many more pirates out there. Yeah, I've been fighting some of them. Uh, there will always be people desperate enough to resort to piracy. If they reorganize, we'll be waiting. What's the opposite of a silver lining? You're great at finding those. Always looking on the dark side? Uh, I guess if they reorganize, I we'll be waiting. I suppose we will have little choice. For now, you should enjoy your hard-earned victory. You have done a service for all of the settled systems. Okay. Well, that's not why I came here, I though. I always enjoy these moments. Uh, let's head back out. I need your help because I got to go find a Varun ambassador, and maybe you can help me with that. Finally, I've been waiting. If that's where you need me, that's where I'll be. All right, thanks, Zeke. I appreciate your help with the Free Star Ambassador. Such as it was. Take care of the ship for me while I'm gone. I'll be back soon. He's just gonna walk right through Walter's room to go out, huh? <laughs> Shortest path, I guess. You got some new orders for me? Nope, you're good. Take care of the ship. You got you, I got uh, Zeke, and Amelia, and Danny all taking care of my ship for me. All 
Alrighty. Let's go find... Oh, Zeke's got to wander back. Okay. <laughs> Let's go find that Varun Embassy. Oh, it's over here. I guess we'll go here. Now I have no idea if having Andresia with me will make any difference at all. But why not? She's Varun and there's not a lot of Varun people around. So maybe it'll matter. gun shop or is it a clothing store let's go see if they have anything you're interesting you're only as safe as your equipment out there I would never dream of selling substandard uh, please do I hope we have something that suits you oh does he sell <laughs> spacesuits yes yeah, suits I get it oh okay yeah this just Mining equipment. And none of it's any better than what I've got already. Alright, thanks for nothing. Yes, by oh, all wait means, a have a look. Let's see if he's got any interesting aid. I'll buy these. Oh, I love a panacea. And a trauma pack. He's got a whole bunch of stuff for building outposts, I imagine. All right. Be careful out there. Yep. Bye. Hey, I Stella, how you doing? Oh, that's the side door. Okay. Well, this is the Varun Embassy the here. Lives of nearly oh. every individual in the settled systems are so heavily influenced by what goes on in this building. This building right here? There's nobody in that building. I think she means the mast building, maybe. Over there? I don't know. Or does she mean the Galbank building? I, I, I don't know. Okay. Andresha, I brought you with me because... This is authorized personnel only. This is the Varun Embassy. And the door is inaccessible. So we're going to go in this back way here. All right, let's do a hard save just in case this goes south and we want to reload. What do I say? Save scumming my way to greatness. <laughs> hey, Ronan, you're still there. I don't know if you heard me earlier. I asked if you had uh, gone back to playing Starfield again. How far you had gotten in the game. Oh, Claus, something about auto mod. Yeah, I, I do have some auto mods turned on in my chat room. I, I don't know. It, they do sometimes block out comments that are don't need to be blocked, but. <laughs> Ronan says, just a little. Okay. Well, I'm doing the Vanguard quest line right now, and I. It's funny because it's like 
the last major quest line in the game that I'm doing, but I kind of wish that it had been the first. Because it gives a lot of backstory about the world and the factions and everything. I'm curious what's up here. Oh. I guess there's this back way in too, huh? What is up here? Oh my gosh, there's all kinds of stuff. What is all this? Where does this go? Infinity Limited HQ. Oh. This is where I could have gone when I was doing the Ryujin quest line. I could have gone through here. What's up here? Remember they said I could go in through the roof, but then I ended up not going in through the roof. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, I was just curious. I didn't know that this would come out up here. This is around the back of the city. It seems strange to leave this undefended, you guys. Couldn't Terramorphs come in this way? Or, you know, I don't know, anybody? Ooh, there's a light over there. What's that? Nothing in particular, just a light. Okay. In video games, light is usually used as a way of telling you, you know, come in this direction. Running around Assassin's Creed style on the roofs here. Let's go back down here. This is where we're supposed to be going. Jordan says he was playing Helldivers in the new season of Fortnite. Oh, cool. I've heard Helldivers is really good. Klaus says, I found a Murphy 500... Found a Morphe... Oh, Terramore, 500 meters away from the starport outside of the city. They are there. Yeah! Well, we just had a big Terramorph attack on the on the city it's part of the vanguard quest line but yeah all right now it said that we need to be prepared for security robots and things so i guess that we'll have to be ready for that yeah, that blocks less of my field of vision 
Oh, she's still invisible. I don't think I have chameleon on my spacesuit anymore. This is the front door. Oh, hello. She said I wasn't allowed to steal anything from the embassy, but it doesn't look like any of this is marked stolen, so... And there's the great serpent. There's a smaller version of this statue in one of the temporary houses in the stretch of Aquila City, but there's never anybody in there. I don't know why they would have a Varun statue in Aquila City if the Varun don't live anywhere in the galaxy. They withdrew after the war, I guess. Or after the Varun zealots started trying to attack people. All right, lobby, first floor, lobby, second floor, house, Baroon, embassy. Are we on the first or second floor of the lobby? Let's go to the second floor. Is there anything interesting here? I'm assuming this is the first floor. Huh. Why would this need to be here? Alright, let's go to the embassy proper. Now she said that the flora in here had become so overgrown that it was hard to tell if there were any human life signs. <laughs> so, which, I don't know, to me that sounds kind of weird, but alright. Can't tell human from plant with your sensors. It is so strange that now, for all reasons, is my first time inside this place. Yeah. Yeah, see, I thought she might have some unique dialogue. I'm glad I brought her. Yeah, I heard the voice. gonna trust some random voice
There we go. Status inactive. Update friend foe settings. Recalibrate. Protect current user. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe I should activate it in case some robots come out. around here. Oh, I don't need that toxin. <laughs> Just grabbed it out of habit. Alright, I guess I'm turning the power on. Okay. Well, I've already activated the turrets in my benefit, so... Hopefully that will be something. Where, where am I supposed to go? Oh, this way. Okay. Warning! Authorized personnel only. Approach the intercom. Uh, this looks really weird. Are these hallucinogenic plants? Shit. Once again, we are triumphant. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Oh jeez, this is really weird. Why are there all of these mannequins everywhere? This is weird but also cool. I'm digging it. This is this is creepy fallout type stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Use this intercom here. No. All right, as long as I'm going the right way. Snake oil, that's appropriate for the Baroon. Long. 
Why didn't you shoot him, Andresia? She was punching him. Do you not have bullets in your gun? And your Andresia. On you. Did you need me to carry something for you? by 25 yeah she's got shotgun shells and she should have caseless shells too huh okay well here you can carry this refined eon Does she have 7.7? 7? No. Let's give her 7.7 7 for it. I've got <laughs> over 10,000, so I think we can handle it. Maybe she needs these. There's a lot of case lists, but I think she might need these specifically. There you go. Now I shoot here if you need the to. dang weapons that you have. Nova Blast Disruptor. That does a lot of EM damage. That's pretty handy. Everything's kind of blurry in here. It's weird. This place is really strange. I mean, to be fair, the Varun are kind of just creepy in general, but... Heretic writings.
I've been in some dance clubs this place kind of reminds me of. <laughs> oh, Claus is off. Have fun. See you. Okay, bye, Claus. Thanks for stopping in. I still says this is a tad creepy. It is a Bethesda thing, though. Yeah, finally. Some interesting creepy stuff here. Oh man, I thought I'd set all the turrets to be friendly to me. Robot destroyed. Did they have anything of value? Wow, I can go down, I can go up. Should I explore before talking to the guy? Maybe I shouldn't go any further till I talk to whoever I'm supposed to talk to. Robot in here. This looks creepy. Conference room security computer, huh? Yeah, I guess it was for the turrets that I already destroyed. I never had the patience for computer systems. This is so bizarre. Alright. 
Yeah, 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 all right. I like this. All right, now she's using that shoddy because I gave her the right ammo for it. And now that we've turned on the power, though, we're going to have more enemies. All right, now we're going to go this way. down here though inaccessible all right yeah we're gonna have to go up and talk to this guy or whoever's up here and then we'll be able to open that door maybe can I close this door Hopefully they amount to something. Here, you want some of the weapons I've been finding? Ah, a face. A good team always shares the load. I think I'm gonna hang on to this. It does a lot more EM. Though this one's got a short scope. But if I have to start taking out more humans and not killing them, doing the non-lethal thing, I think it's better to have the more powerful one. Ooh. I'll give her that. I think it said it took a light particle fuse. So there, if she wants to use that one, she can. It is always a pleasure. All right, moving on. that's coming from. There we go. Oh, run in saying today is the last day of my vacation. Aww. How long were you off on vacation? 
Today is the second day of my daughter's spring break. She doesn't have to go to college this week. <laughs> so she was helping me with the Cats Love Boxes game earlier today. I don't know if y'all have been checking out my YouTube channel. I was saying at the very beginning of this live stream that uh, it's been a few days since I live streamed Starfield. I'd been busy doing a bunch of things, but I'd also been working on a few other games for my YouTube channel. There was a game called Cat and Onion that came out today, and I got an advanced copy from the developer, and so I made a video of it over the weekend and had that go up live today for the release of the game. And then I've been working on this game called Cats Love Boxes. It's a puzzle game. And I've done a couple of videos on my channel already. But I had to wrap it up and do the last section of puzzles. And they were very challenging. Ooh. Run ahead five days plus regular days off. Like the weekend, basically. Yeah. Nice. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and got lots of fun and or rest. Nine days total. Yeah, that's always nice, isn't it? I did. I was resting good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not much of a vacation person. Like, I don't really know what I would do. My husband and I both, we're not the kind of people that are like, oh, let's go out to a bunch of restaurants because there's a lot of places I can't eat anyway. I have to be really careful because of my celiac, but... Um, you know, and just going places, traveling. I did a lot of traveling when I was younger, and I saw a lot of things. I've been all over this country, and I've probably been to half of the states in the Union. But, eh, you know, in my old age, <laughs> I'm just happy to take some time off, spend time with family, putter around the house, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, nice. Watching Fear of the Walking Dead and Shogun. How's the new Shogun? I still, it says you're still young and vital. Yeah, I know. I could still go and do things if I wanted to. I guess I just don't really have much of a motivation. There are a few places I want to go. I would really love to go to Boston. But that's going to be a whole adventure and a half. I mean, I want to spend, like, a lot of time there. I want to see everything. I want to do a whole Fallout 4 tour of Boston. And we're going to go to Erie probably this summer. Whenever my daughter has her... My daughter and her new husband have their party for their wedding. They've already gotten married. I know I Stella knows this, but anyone else who doesn't know, my oldest daughter, who we've called Jewel Smith Jr. on this channel now for years, <laughs> she got married. Uh, but they just went to the courthouse and signed papers. She, the, They weren't interested in having a big to-do. But they want to have kind of like a party slash family reunion sort of thing over the summer, maybe. I don't know if they're going to do it at the beginning of the summer or the end of the summer. But we'll be planning a big trip up there and probably spend some time seeing Erie, Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's where they live. Yeah, Ronan, I remember you telling me you grew up around Boston in Chelsea and Malden. Yeah. I can't wait. I still is expecting videos when I go to Boston. That would be fun. I would love to visit all of the landmarks from the game. I know there's a ton of them, but <laughs> that's one of the reasons I started that uh, blog that I started. I have a blog that's uh, it's called fallout4irl.blogspot.com. And I go through the game and I find all the stuff in the game that's based on the real life things. And then I, I do articles about each thing. You know, like I did the whole Freedom Trail and I've talked about different, you know, it's like little blog posts where I write about each different landmark in the game and what it's based on in real life and stuff. And I wanted to do that so that I would already know about them before I took the trip to Boston. <laughs> but 
I've kind of gotten caught up in doing lots of other things and I haven't worked on it much lately. I bet. Ronan says it's really cool playing Fallout 4 and seeing the places I've been. Yeah. I had that feeling when I played Fallout New Vegas because I had spent a lot of time living in the Mojave Desert. And I have been to... I, I don't know if there's more than one location, but there is definitely one iconic location where there's a giant dinosaur that you can go inside of, like in Novak in the game. I have been to that dinosaur. <laughs> I have been to Las Vegas, you know. Um, so, yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, in Washington, D.C. I had been to Washington, D.C. I didn't grow up there or anything, but I had been there and, and visited. And then I played Fallout 3 a few years later. And so, you know, it was really cool seeing things in Fallout 3 that I had seen in real life. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, all right. Let's get on with getting on here. There's still a turret of some kind in here. Or a robot? It's the robot. takes all these difference, is it not? You could have helped a little bit, Andresia. See what is in here. Oh, geez, is that a security turret right there? Another mannequin. Man, there's a lot of chems laying around here too. Are these Varun people? <laughs> Taking a lot of chems or something? What the heck? Oh. An altar. Yeah, dude. Chillax. I'm looking around first. That door was locked. But we didn't have to unlock it since we came in through here. Yeah, I think it's too late to do any security stuff. We've already shot everything, probably.
<laughs> Just looking around, getting selfies. Can't even see my face there. All right, enough horsing around. Let's talk to the dude. the demons in the basement. Oh, great. There's demons in the basement, Andresia. Why your people gotta be so weird? Oh, now all the spooky stuff's cleared out. Oh, hey. Red sticks hiding behind all those folders. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I gotta move these out of the way to get to the... Uh, some developer thought they were being funny. There we go. Oh, somebody likes the parsec pooch here in the Varun Embassy. I guess it was somebody's birthday, the day they left the embassy. Yeah, I hear ya. We gotta go back down to the basement door that we couldn't get through before. This doesn't sound good. All right, let's do a hard save. Thanks, Andresha. Take what you must. Leave the rest for the scavengers. Approach the stranger. I guess there's not any more enemies in here that we need to worry about.
Yeah, keep your shirt on. I'm coming, I'm coming. So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Okay. Is this the way out? Unlock requires key, okay. Interesting. Did Andresia lose her head again? Oh no, she's just standing in the dark. <laughs> she didn't have a head at one point when I was running around with her. I thought maybe she'd lost her head again. Hi? Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? <laughs> Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? Now nah, it's all pretty much gone back to normal. Uh, the spaceport is in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Everywhere in the city it is in better shape than this dump. Oh, that's rude. Is that what happened here? A power surge? Did you say that the thing pouring out clouds upstairs is called a venom tree? Is it poisonous? Harmless spores, you have my word, but uh, hard to navigate. Hence why I was guiding you through the intercoms to restore the environmental controls. <laughs> and release me. It is the sap of the tree that gives it its... Well, <laughs> perhaps not a topic for this exact moment. But I must know of the rest of the city. Does it still stand? Yeah, the spaceport is in rough shape, but not much else was damaged. Ah, is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you... and your friend here. You need not maintain the facade, Kasrik. She knows who I am. Who I actually am. Quite the breach in protocol, Andresia. Something I look forward to discussing further. Once we've established why it is you to have come waltzing through my door uninvited. Now, the broadcast earlier spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, ah, an archive code. So, the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, you see it clearly, but hang on a second. Let's, let's rewind. Uh, Andresia knows you? I went with Andresia to do her quest, and we met some guy who I think was her handler, and she was all like, Oh, he's my only connection back to my home world, and he's the only one that knows where my home world is, and brr 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 brr. But you know this guy. Does he know where the home world is? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, correct. We're going to use the data in the archives to better understand and stop the attacks. We're going to ensure something like this never happens again, and we need your code. Bingo, hand over the code so I can get out of here. Uh, I'll just say we're going to use the data. Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks, there is logic there. But if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. Of course you do. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With but then? little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. 
You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The okay. knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. I'll agree with that. Uh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Yeah, I'll make sure it's used for good. You're just an old man in a basement. You don't get to tell me what to do. Knowledge can't be evil. What about the knowledge of, say, gunpowder? All right, uh, you have my word. I'll make sure it's used for good. You have my word as well. And you know that you can trust me. Well then, I shall not fear. Please, follow me. All right, so... I guess it was good that we brought Andresia with us. She had a little bit of conversation with this guy, and maybe having her with me helped convince him more easily. <sighs> Let's hope it still works. And wow, not exactly there. living in the lap of luxury here. Varun storeroom Let key card. For good. Okay, thanks. doesn't say steel what's he got in here where is the Varun storeroom I don't think this is the storeroom oh that says steel ooh calibrated explorer skip pack that's pretty nice can I take it or will it make him mad? I guess I can take it. That looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at it. Beep, beep, boop, boop. That really does look like a space explorer backpack, doesn't it? Kind of looks like a big TV dinner, though. Doesn't really match what I'm wearing. I'll stick with what I got, which is this thing, which looks really freaking cool on my suit. Why does he have Frontier attire? I'm gonna leave that weapon in there. It's his. It's fine. He can have it. Personal computer? Oh, wow. We can get his whole backstory. Log 01 Arrival. Yesterday marked the beginning of my tenure as House Varun's ambassador in the United Colonies. I arrived full of hope, believing our gesture of opening this new embassy would demonstrate that we had moved beyond our bloodstained past. But we had barely been in New Atlantis an hour when the troubles ahead of me began to reveal themselves. Our brief walk from the spaceport to the embassy was marked by suspicious glances and sneers from numerous strangers on the street. I fear minds here will not be easily changed. The wrongdoing of House Varun will not be so easily forgotten. It is my fervent wish that this embassy will come to be seen as an emblem of a peaceful future, free of the stains of prejudice and violence. I will do my utmost to act as an avatar for that goal, regardless of any resistance I may face. Though I find myself in a strange land, I know the Great Serpent will guide us to success in our endeavor. Protests this morning I was roused from contemplative prayer by the sound of muffled shouting. Upon investigation, I discovered a sizable group of United Colony citizens engaged in a protest on my doorstep. They are opposed to their government's attempts to establish diplomatic ties with House Varun and are petitioning for the immediate shuttering of the embassy. My attempts to engage them in discussion were fruitless. Most would not speak with me, and those who did refused to believe that our intentions in New Atlantis were purely peaceful. 
The embassy guards were eventually required to intervene, forcing me back into the building when the crowd's anger began to manifest as threats to my well-being. I intend to discuss this matter with my counterparts in the United Colonies. Their aid will be essential if this effort is to succeed, though I fear this will not be an isolated incident. A visitor. Each day my frustration grows. Great Serpent, what have I done to merit such scorn? Recently, Sia Mavin arrived at my embassy to receive a visit from such a high-ranking priestess, a Gravid, no less, with the intention of engaging in talks with the United Colonies. I was overjoyed. Such a gesture from the house could only mean those skeptical of our efforts could at long last see merit in our work. But it seems I was deceived. Sia's stated mission and her actual intentions are clearly at odds. She has refused every opportunity to engage with representatives from the United Colonies. Instead, she speaks incessantly about the need to surveil the very diplomats whose trust I have dedicated months of effort to gaining. She remains trapped in our old mindset, unable to see what it is we are actually doing here, guaranteeing House Faroon's future. The losses from the Serpent's Crusade were incalculable. Calculable? Incalculable? Diplomacy is the only method through which House Faroon's survival may be assured. Yeah, the Serpent's Crusade is the uh, when the Zealots decided to attack everyone else in the galaxy. I must find a way to make CS see this. Luckily, I believe tonight's dinner will be the perfect opportunity. Our UC host, Deputy Diplomat Roland, is level-headed, reasonable, I dare say even sympathetic. A rare animal among the UC, if prior experience is to be any indicator. If Sia approaches him with open arms, I have faith that he would embrace her as a comrade. Great Serpent, let this come to pass. Well, I imagine it did not come to pass. Dinner. Great Serpent, is this a test of my faith? Do you truly wish to plumb the depths of my loyalty? What other explanation could merit why you would permit such a spectacular disaster? Dinner at Deputy Rollins was initially promising, even congenial. Yes, there were pointed questions about House Faroon's intentions, but overall an air of polite decorum was maintained. But it was when one of Rollins' most more boisterous guests, an officer of some type, perhaps having enjoyed one too many glasses of Chandra, asked, But how can we trust you snakes after what you did? That I believed the Gravid reached her breaking point, they were only words, but words are the battlefield on which diplomacy is fought, and I realized too late that this was a salvo Sia would not let pass. I mean, it's a legit question. <laughs> uh, as dessert was served, Sia excused herself. We waited for her return and waited and waited. When it became clear that the Gravid had simply left, I made my pleasantries and rushed back to the embassy. There I found her packing her things. When I asked where she was going, she stated simply, I have seen all I need to, and she left without another word. I've reached out to my contacts back in Dazra, who have assured me that they still believe in the venture, that Jarek Varun himself still believes, and that is all the reassurance I require. Log 4, a test of faith. The last of my staff have left today. Our embassy now effectively shuttered. House Faroon's leaders have ceased all communications with the United Colonies. Our own orders from Dazra were not much better, standing as a single word, return. No other reason mentioned for our abandonment of our post, for the abandonment of our cause. But I know a test of faith when I see one. I serve House Faroon. A simple understanding of that directive would be that I follow their orders. But what we do here is greater than that. If we are to survive, it cannot be on our own. If others refuse to see that, so be it. So here I stand, waiting for the day they all see the truth and come back. So just because one guy was like, hey, how can we trust you? I mean, it's a legitimate question, right? You don't get to shit on people and, you know, <laughs> attack them and kill them. And then turn around and say, okay, all done. Everybody forget it ever happened. It takes a long time to rebuild trust when trust has been broken. So I don't think Varun really wanted to earn back anyone's trust. I'm not sure what their deal is exactly. But yeah, if you're, if you're going to be offended by a simple question, a legitimate question like that, I mean, maybe it wasn't the best time to bring it up, but it's a real question. 
and it should have been addressed. And it's better to know, you know, to have all the cards on the table and to know how people feel about you and know that you need to make amends than to get offended and withdraw. Log 6, silence. There has been no word from my people in months. I have made several attempts at contacting them, but I am uncertain if my messages are reaching Dazra at all. As such, I have had much time to think. Why allow us to come here, make a home for ourselves around a distant star, only to demand our return when the first bit of resistance is met? Yeah, it did seem to be, like, giving up very quickly and easily. Because of some drunken slight, even Sia is not that influential amongst the court. No, there is something larger at play here. The recalling of the staff. It wasn't because of the incident with the Gravid. A change has occurred. Yet by staying, I now may never know what it is. Only time will tell. I wonder if the Zealots started making inroads into uh, the, the court. I guess. They have a monarchy? I don't know. <laughs> I still this is nice writing, Bethesda. Lol. Are you talking about all of this stuff that I'm reading right now, or are you referring back to something I was reading earlier? Or something that was said earlier? <laughs> Sorry, I just saw your comment. Alright, Log 7 Spies. It seems it's been quite some time since my last entry. A welcome bit of exercise today. United Colony Spies snuck inside the Embassy. Just before dawn, as I finished my morning prayers, I heard an odd thrum. At first, I presumed my hearing was finally giving out, but then I realized what it was. It was the elevator descending. Presuming uninvited guests could mean only bad things, I snuck upstairs and hid among the branches of the venom tree. I watched like a gargoyle perched on a parapet as the young man stalked cautiously through the branches of the tree I'd spent so much time cultivating, obviously scared beyond his wits. I was referring to gargoyles and parapets, like, do the Varun live in some sort of medieval type <laughs> fantasy society? I mean, they do worship a great serpent or a dragon or something... I Supposedly, there's some guy who was going through hyperspace or something and saw a serpent who told him to be prepared for his return. And I have my sneaking suspicions that it's a reference, whether seriously or sort of tongue-in-cheek, to Skyrim and how Alduin was, like, sent forward in time. And then, because there was Alduin, like, in the past... And then the, uh, the the tongues, there were those three who shouted him and used Elder Scroll to like send him out of their reality. And then he reappeared during the events of Skyrim. So, you know, I think it'd be kind of funny if that, if Alduin was actually the great serpent that the Varun worship. And the fact that they have castles and stuff, or, you know, a parapet implies a castle, gargoyle implies castles. Uh, it would be funny if, like, the Varun people were somehow connected to Nern <laughs> and the, the world where Skyrim takes place. Uh, okay. I mean, we know it's not Earth, even though it's a fantasy setting and everything, but we know it's not Earth because they have two moons. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, anyway, uh, same like a gargoyle. At one point, an Aaron branch snapped as he passed, and I swore the boy leapt a foot into the air before realizing its source benign. I was shocked that the mere idea of House Varun could still garner such fear, even this long after the end of the Serpent's Crusade. It would have been amusing if it wasn't such a clear reminder of the failure of my own endeavor. We abated each other like this for the better part of two hours, it was a welcome distraction from a life now steeped in routine. He eventually gave up, returned to the elevator, and I to my meditation. As I think on it now, however, the purpose of the visit is exceedingly disappointing. This was no diplomat, no neighborly knock on the door. This was a spy. Someone breaking into somewhere a normal soul couldn't. They think me dead, don't they? Alright, log 8. A surprising message. It's happened. The message was short, a simple request for information regarding the state of things in New Atlantis, but filled me with relief nonetheless. House Varun has contacted me at long last. I had been forced to harden my heart to the possibility that I may never hear from my people again. Today's message assuaged that fear. Though their intentions remain unclear, I am comforted by House Varun's willingness to re-engage in communication. 
I am hopeful that it signifies Dazra's willingness to return to more earnest attempts at diplomacy with the United Colonies. Great Serpent, you answer my prayers at last. I stand firm in my belief that it will be at my side. It will be at my side. The Great Serpent, I guess, as I continue to serve House Varun's interests in New Atlantis. May his celestial light bathe my people and those we once stood against and help to usher in an era of harmony at last. Oh, I still is you, you were referring to the woman you did the mission with who only had one contact. Oh, uh, my follower here, Andresia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she has this side quest that I went and did with her where we ran into this guy. He was way out living in some abandoned derelict space station or something. And I guess he was like a real jerk who had gotten her friends killed and almost got her killed. So there was an option to kill him. But I didn't take it. Because she said he was her only connection back to her home world. And if we killed him, then she may never be able to go home again. And I didn't want to do that. <coughs> oh. But apparently she had at least one other connection she didn't tell me about. Alrighty. Okay, my dude. I guess that's all we have to talk about here. I will not have House Varun be known only for slaughter. Oh, ooh, I have some questions. Why'd you stay behind? House Varun committed itself to the armistice. This was said at the time to be the desire of the Great Serpent, and I do not believe the Serpent decides such things on a whim. So, when my brethren left, I remained, honoring the Serpent's will as I saw fit, as is the right of all his followers. All right. And the Great Serpent, that's your god, right? The Great Serpent is so much more than a god. It is... Fate itself. When our founder, Jinan Varun, left the United Colonies a hundred and forty years ago for distant stars, it was the serpent that compelled him to found his now great house. The serpent made us who we are today. Its voice speaks to us, shepherding us through the dark and infuses our lives with the meaning the universe so often fails to provide. Sorry, I had to step away for a minute. I think I missed what he had to say there. But, alright. Um, what's it been like being from House Baroon in New Atlantis? It was tolerable, even pleasant, when my brethren were here in the embassy with me. We remade this place as best we could into a home we all would recognize. Our native flora, our iconography, our connection to the serpent, they came with us. With my brethren gone, it has been trying. But the great serpent has always provided me a path in my darkest moments. So why'd the rest of the embassy leave? Where'd they go? Well, we read on his computer what happened, but let's hear it in his own words. The affairs of House Varun are our own. They left. That is all there is to be said on the subject. Oh. Okay, well. I guess I'm glad I read the terminal then. Is it bad that Andresia told me she's part of House Varun? It is, perhaps, not my place to say. She has her own calling. 
as I have mine, but I assume that she, like most of our observers, was instructed to keep her history private. I would not even know of her myself were it not for the urgent need to pass on communications a year ago. She must trust you a great deal to have told you. I suggest you keep it to yourself, for both of your sakes. All right. I guess that's everything. Okay. We got all the codes we needed to get. Now we gotta go plug them in and get all the information we need to get out of the, uh... Out of the Wachahoozie Library, whatever it is. What is it? <laughs> Archive. Right, right, right. The Armistice Archive. Oh, this guy's got a lot of turrets. Ooh, it's another Varun spacesuit. I already have one, and it's got chameleon on it. So I don't need that one. Another Nopa Blast Disruptor. Should I try to unlock the safe? Steal this guy's shit? I'm already taking everything else. That's not marked steal. use an auto slot to get started. Succeeded that before we are discovered. Well, it wasn't Mark Steele. Ooh, bolt, barrel, laser sights, reflex sight, muzzle brake. Look at that pretty muzzle brake thing on it. Is that the muzzle brake that's kind of a rainbow colored? Large magazine. Ooh, this is sweet. Each consecutive hit deals more damage, and it's got a huge magazine. 
and a decent fire rate. I think that's semi-auto. Let's compare it to... I would say it's similar to... Mm -mm. That one. Well, hang on. Let me compare it. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. This corrosive assassin's refined side star does a lot more physical damage. However, the furious professional's advanced kraken has a lot higher fire rate. So we could basically do more than three times as much damage in the same amount of time. So that makes the physical damage comparable. The accuracy of the Furious Professional's Advanced Kraken is higher. The range is slightly higher. They both have comparable sized magazines. However, the Corrosive Assassin's Refined Side Star has a suppressor and armor-piercing rounds and corrosive damage. But, okay. We could try it out. It looks cool. I like it. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Are we going to have to go back through the whole place again? Or will there be a faster way out? this way. Why is there blood here? Oh, maybe it's my blood. This dude didn't explain why there were mannequins everywhere. Are they his friends now that all of his friends are gone? Why doesn't it tell me where I need to go? This is saying I need to go in here. Okay. That's weird. The other one didn't have a quest marker. get a selfie with the big O.
All right, let's get out of here. Go back with the codes. I think we've done everything we can do here. I gotta remember that I'm carrying some contraband. So I need to take that and sell it. To the trade authority. Uh, I thought I picked up could have swore I picked up some Varun documents Look for the yellow box. We gotta go through all of this stuff. Did I not pick up the Varun writings? weird. I took some out of that locker room, I thought. I'd opened a locker and it had Varun heretical writings in it and I picked them up. And this is too weird. This happened just the last time that I streamed too and I was surveying a planet. I found, uh, you know, there's these little greenish packages that are some kind of clothing item. They all look the same. But they're, you know, designated with different clothing descriptions. And I picked up one that said layered t-shirt. And then when I went to look for it, it wasn't in my inventory. It was really weird. Well, I guess we'll find out next time I get scanned. Did I give it to Andresha to carry? I didn't think I did. I'm here for you. What have you got for me? No, nope, she doesn't have it. She's using the Nova Light. 
Alright. A shame huh. that there is not more to discuss. That's so weird. Alpha saying check miscellaneous. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it didn't seem to be there. Oh, wait, you're right. There it is. Varun Heretic Writings. Well, how come it didn't show up? When I went to sell them here... I thought I could sell anything to the Trade Authority. See, they're not here now. That's weird. Is there an actual trade authority kiosk in town? Is there a trade authority somewhere in New Atlantis? Oh, in the well. Oh, right, right, right. You can only sell them to a person in the trade authority. Alpha Diggs is saying in the well. Okay. What's the quickest way to the well from here? I think there's a elevator right over here. Into the well. Here we go. Alright. Thank you, Alpha. Mystery solved. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a trade authority place here. There they are. Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. Yeah, I know. Somebody already told me, and I went and talked to him, and he didn't have anything. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP. The Trade Authority does quite well for itself down this? here. And Be clearly they share li- Oh, wait. Yeah, I do want that digi pack actually. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Do I have anything else to get rid of? I'm gonna hang on to these disruptors. Yeah, that does a lot more EM damage, so I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't think I need it, do I? If I've already got this. Well, I don't know. I'll give it to one of my followers so they'll have... Well, I have two of these. So one for me, one for my follower, and then a spare for another follower. I don't know if we'll have to worry about being non-lethal again. Maybe. Mm. 
<clears throat> yeah, I guess I'll save it. Do I want to save this one? Probably not. I love the credits they make. Need anything else? You know where to find us. Alright. I guess I'm done here. How am I on ammo? I have so much ammo. All right. What's the waterfall promenade? This, I guess. What is this? Oh. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, this is nice. This is so cool. Oh, is that the waterfall over there? Oh, this is so romantic. You want to hold hands, Andresia? I may not be enamored of the United Colonies or the city. I cannot deny this is a lovely place. Oh, the sun's rising. Look. Oh, that's the waterfall. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Let's watch the sunrise, Andresha. Oh, wow. Oh wow, that is pretty. How have I not found this place before? Oh, look at the ship taking off. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh. Alpha Dig says this is where you proposed to Sarah. If you're going to marry Sarah Morgan, I guess, you propose out here. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's definitely a very romantic place. That sunrise. That is really cool.
You could do Mario hopping all the way up those trees at the side there. <laughs> Ooh, or walk out over that thing, whatever it is. Oh, it's the monorail rail. Okay. Oh man, it'd be cool if you could watch the monorail actually go around like like that. All right, cool. But how romantic can the place really be? It's got a chunks dispenser. <laughs> chunks. Oh, it'd be cool to live right there. Have a view of the waterfall. All right, let's activate our quest again. And we'll go return to Deputy Bloody Blooder Blur. Yeah, I bet you could go down that side and hop down all those trees. be able to see that monorail thing go all around the town. I want to ride on it. Like the train into Nuka World in Fallout 4. Oh. Everyone just turned around and started walking toward me. Alright, let's go back to Mast. Is that new? It's got a bunch of flowers on it? Nothing says December quite like holiday chunks. But come January 1st, gourmet lovers have to wait along 11 months until their next fix. I do appreciate that. A petition that has reached 100,000 signatures asking, begging chunks to offer it year round. Too grand for such a the chunk spokeswoman said. Holiday chunks require special ingredients we can only get during that magical time of year. I want to see holiday chunks. How do I know what date it is? Is it like in Fallout 4 where on Christmas Day everything changes? But yeah, look. I don't remember there being flowers on this tree before. Is this the scientist you. guy we helped for before? For everything, things could have ended badly, if not for you. Thank you for listening to me. And for all of your help. You're welcome, but what's with the flowers on the tree? The Subtle Systems News Network. I don't think I've ever seen that before. 
Maybe I've just only ever been in here when it's like nighttime or I never looked up or something. I mean, I don't think you could pick them, but... Oh, what's that? Big tall Galbank building. <laughs> That's the Free Star Embassy there. And the church. And the Varun Embassy. Huh. Oh, and there's a big walkway. Go from here all the way around over there. Yeah, I don't think you can interact with the flowers. Oh, here we go. Nope. This way? Why is it telling me to go down here? Oh, right. Alright, uh, Andresha. Eager to help, if I can. Uh, you can go back to the you lodge. You will be lost without me, but... As you wish. Okay, thanks for your help. Vanguard business? Yep. Alright, here we go. Captain, you're back sooner than... Oh, oh, Didn't you expect it? Did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? We're all in agreement. Yep. Code pieces from House Varun and the Free Star collected and ready to be deployed. Balmore is alive thanks to yours truly, and yes, I got his code. I'm going to say that. You saved him. You Vanguard really do take that above and beyond thing seriously, don't you? Fine work. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. 
absolute best behavior down there. All right? Okay. Report to the Armistice Archives. Yes, what? I wonder if we're going to catch back up with Hadrian. Because she's the one that knows exactly what she needs. I don't know what the heck she needs. Keeping the skies safe out there? Alright, but I think that's going to be it for me today. What is that? Oh, it's like a big sculpture. It just looked weird and rainbow colored in the light. All right. Oh, it's getting dark already. In an SSNN exclusive, we interviewed one of the key participants, a member of Constellation. Ugh, I hate being called that. With unlikely help from Constellation proved pivotal in ending the Terramorph threat. It takes a lot of firepower to take out a Terramorph, our source said. And although the attack is over, many of us still have nightmares of that fateful day. Even after their break, our hero is still on the job. They said, I won't rest until the Terramorph threat is ended. I don't like Constellation getting credit for the shit I'm doing. Constellation got nothing to do with it. Alright, well anyway. I think that's going to be it for me today. I'm standing on the tree. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this session of Starfield. It was definitely interesting. We will continue doing the Vanguard stuff and or I may work on my ship a little bit more next time. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens or maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> Take care of yourselves until next time.